Okay, what's happening Cucumber Squad and welcome back to the Fables Fear on to another Skip the Line reaction. As I said, I'm saying this on every single one of these videos so that you guys, at least, at least you guys hear me, every single person that requested, at least you guys get the message. I will be dropping um, only Skip the Line reactions today and tomorrow I've had to split them into two. I know I was going to try and drop them all today, it's just a bit of too much. A bit of too much, I apologize, I'm human. I'm going to do half today and half tomorrow and I'm doing at least one of yours, whoever it is, I'm doing at least one of yours today. If you have two or three, I'm going to do at least one and I will complete them all tomorrow. I will only do Skip the Line reactions up until the point that we are complete, which we will be complete tomorrow, including, including the free reaction that i'm going to give you for free for the delay right so yeah it was my bad but i will obviously stand by that i'll take responsibility and i'll take the consequences for that and at least give you something to compensate you for that frank oh frank oh frank mr warner this song over here when i actually saw this i am like i cannot believe you reacted to this uh, not reacted you asked me to react to this because i loved the song Right, we've never reacted to the song. This is one of my absolute favorite songs, Wear Sunscreen. I'm so, so happy that you brought this to my attention. I hope to God it does not get blocked. Right, but this over here is just one of the most beautiful, most powerful. It's less of a song and more of like a life lesson. It's like a motivational, it's, it's just worth listening to and taking into account what they're saying, what he's saying. Awesome, awesome piece. Used to love this. Had this on my playlist years ago. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. Baz, Lerman, everybody, everybody's free to wear sunscreen. Wear sunscreen. I love this piece. Thank you, Frank. Let's go. Of the class of 99, wear sunscreen. sunscreen. Love if I could offer you only one tip for the future, sunscreen would, would be, be it. it. The long-term benefits of sunscreen have been proved by scientists, whereas the rest of my advice has no basis more reliable than my own meandering experience. I love the fact that they start like that because it's basic. Everything he talks about the the simplicity of sunscreen, right? Just wear sunscreen because scientists say it's going to protect you against the radiation. That at least has some scientific basis. I've got no scientific basis to offer to any of the advice that I'm going to, to, to give you, right? But I'm going to speak of my experiences, take it or leave it. It's completely up to you. You don't have to follow the science on this one. I'm just gonna speak of my journey and if that makes sense to you, maybe follow it. I will dispense this advice now. Enjoy the power and beauty of your youth. Oh, never mind. You will not understand the power and beauty of your youth until they've faded. Yep. But trust me, in 20 yep. years, you look back at photos of yourself and recall in a way you can't grasp now how much possibility lay before you and how fabulous you really looked. You wow. are not I as love fat song so as you much. imagine. Don't worry about the future or worry, but know that worrying as effective as trying to solve an algebra equation by chewing bubblegum. The real troubles in your life are apt to be things that never crossed your worried mind, the kind that blindsides you at 4 p.m. on some idle Tuesday. 100%, the real things that are going to worry you in life are going to happen without you even knowing. The fact that you're worrying um, but preemptively about things that have never happened and 90% of which will not happen, Right? Why kill yourself inside like that? Why deteriorate your health and your immune system in that manner and your mental health? Right? Worrying does absolutely nothing. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen and you're going to deal with it then. You prepare as best you can and for, for life and for your future. But the things that you're really going to worry about are literally going to fall on your lap without you even knowing. Worrying about it would make absolutely no difference at all. Love it. Do one thing every day that scares you. Sing. Don't be uh -huh. reckless with other people's hearts. Don't put up with people who are reckless with yours. Floss. Don't waste your time on jealousy. Sometimes you're ahead. Sometimes, sometimes you're behind. 
the race is long. And in the end, it's only with yourself. Remember compliments you receive. I like the fact that he says the race is long, but I'd also, from another perspective, the race is always also short. It can be short, right? So that's why you shouldn't be stressing yourself about things like that, is because the race could also be short. You, your, your life could come to an end before you wish it to come to an end, right? Do you want to waste yourself, your time with all this petty stuff? The race is long, and in the end, it's only with yourself. Remember compliments you receive. Forget the insults. If you succeed in doing this, tell me Let how. Me know how. <laughs> Keep your old love letters. Yeah, Throw away your old bank statements. Beautiful. Keep your, keep your old love letters. Throw away your old bank statements. It doesn't matter. Who cares what was your balance before? Right? The things that are important the most. No one is going to sit on their deathbed and say, let me take a look at a bank statement, or I wish I had done one more spreadsheet, or I wish I had saved one more dollar. No one cares. On your deathbed, you're just going to remember the beautiful things and the beautiful people that were in your life. That's all that's going to happen. Throw away your old bank statements. Stretch. Don't feel guilty if you don't know what you want to do with your life. The most interesting people I know didn't know at 22 what they wanted to do with their lives. Some of the most interesting 40-year-olds I know still don't. Get plenty of calcium. It's true. It's true. You just you just carry on with life. You have a sort of an idea, but nothing really pans out the way you actually want. You path your you path your your road. You've got an you've got like okay, this is my star. That's where I'm going to reach, and you re realize that okay, well, from here to my star is going to be pretty simple. It's just straight ahead. And then you realize, oh, I'm going in a completely opposite direction to my star, which means my star is now further, right? And then you're consistently zigzagging through life to your star. And you're going to surprise yourselves in, in terms of all the different interests you have reaching up to your star. You could, it's going to change dramatically. But that zigzagging journey to get to your star in the beginning, it's so wide because you just overshoot by vast amounts and then slowly slowly you make that zigzag road smaller and smaller and smaller and you start to you start to focus out towards your star but without that zigzag story from the beginning without that path without that road travel right you'd never be able to get to your star there's no such thing as one single simple straight line to everyone's star and everyone's goals and it's okay Right, it might not happen now. It might not happen when you're 20. It might not happen when you're 40. It might not happen when it's when you're 60. But you need to accept that and accept that that is okay, right? And accept that the journey is what counts. It's not actually the destination. And I think that's something that a lot of people um, will find a lot more peace in their life if they could follow that. And listen, uh, I'm not speaking as if uh, I'm the all-knowing because. I make that exact same mistake, right? We're human, right? We can say all of this, we can dispense this, but we know that ourselves, we, we won't follow our own advice. But it's worth saying, right? Keeping that, that in the back of your mind. Be kind to your needs. You'll miss them when they're gone. Maybe you'll marry, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll have children, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll divorce at 40. Maybe you'll dance the funky chicken on your 75th wedding anniversary. Whatever you do, don't congratulate yourself too much or berate yourself. Stay either. humble. Your choices are half chance. So are Amazing. everybody else's. Enjoy your body. Use it every way you can. Don't be afraid of it or what other people think of it. It's the greatest instrument you'll ever own. Wow. Yes. <laughs> this is so much good. I love that. This vehicle is what carries you through life, man. And I'm of the opinion, I've always been of the opinion that, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you only live once, so I'm going to do all of that. I'm of the opinion that, yes, when you're young, you're going to do a whole bunch of things that poisons the body and your body can take it at that stage. You know, you'll smoke, you'll drink. But as you get older, you tend to realize that this is all you have. This is the only vehicle that will carry you through life. And you tend to have a different appreciation for your body. And I'm of the opinion that treat your body as if it's rented because it is rented 
It's not something that is yours. It will be given back eventually. It was given to you in a pristine condition. And I think it is only, it is only right and it is only of great gratitude that you give your body back in the same condition you received it. Sure, it will age, right? But you'll give it back in a condition that you received it in the sense that you didn't have to destroy it more than it had to be destroyed right and i'm of the opinion of that so i've got it might be a very spiritual uh, aspect but i do believe that i will nurture this body as best i can i don't smoke anymore i don't drink anymore well i don't drink anymore i have a drink every now and again but i don't drink like i used to drink in my 20s right i exercise heavily um i don't tattoo my body at all although i've got nothing against tattoos if you want to tattoo it's completely it's your own expression perfectly fine but my, me personally i will not do that to my own body purely because i just don't like it i just um, or i'm also ocd to a, like a crazy degree so i can't have things on my i can't have things that look like my skin is stained um i and yeah i just appreciate my body more and uh, i think that's a lesson you'll learn as you as you get older that appreciating the only vehicle you have, and it will carry you through life anyway, but just like an, a vehicle that you treat badly is going to eventually uh, break down on the side of the road, that's how our body is. It'll eventually break down on the side of the road. If you treat it with respect and if you maintain it, it's going to give you many miles. If you don't, it will, it will shorten your miles and break down along the way, right? And I think it's only fair that we give back what we received in a in the same way we received it anyway let's carry on even if you have nowhere to do it but in your own living room read the directions even if you don't follow them do not read beauty magazines they will only, only make, make you, you feel, feel ugly. ugly true awesome get to know your parents never know when they'll be gone for good. Be nice to your siblings. They're your best link to your past and the people most likely to stick with you in the future. Understand that friends come and go, but with a precious few, you should hold on. Work hard to bridge the gaps in geography and lifestyle, because the older you get, the more you need the people you knew when you were young. Live in New York City once, but leave before it makes you hard. Live in Northern California once, but leave before it makes you soft. How true is that today? <laughs> like seriously, this was written so long ago. But how true is that today? Like live in New York City once and then leave before it makes you hard. Live in California once and leave before you make it uh, before it makes you soft. And today, California is making people softer than anybody could possibly imagine ever, right? The softest people come out of California, all right? So uh, that is still absolutely 100% relevant today. Let's go. Live in Northern California once, but leave before it makes you soft. Travel. Accept certain inalienable truths. Prices will rise, politicians will philander, you too will get old. And when you do, you'll fantasize that when you were young, prices were reasonable, politicians were noble, 100%. and children respected their elders. Respect your elders. Story of politics, right? When you're in that period of time, politicians are liars, as they always are, as they will always will be. But as you get older, you will tell the same old story that was told for decades, for decades, that we actually have this idea that politicians were once good, that politicians were once not liars, that things were cheaper. Prices will always rise. Politicians will always be liars. Politicians will um, will always try and only uh, uh, um, look out for their own interests. Okay. And you can say that things are getting worse and worse and worse and worse, but that's how it's seen by every generation. It's like, oh, things were worse and worse and worse. When I was a kid, things were better, things were better, things were better. But that's just the cycle. Things will go that way and things will change. And that's how, you know, 
hum humanity is just going to have to adapt. It is the way of life. Don't expect anyone else to support you. Maybe you have a trust fund. Maybe you'll have a wealthy spouse. But you never know when either one might run out. Don't mess too much with your hair. Or by the time you're 40, it will look 85. Be careful who's it Although I do wish I messed a little bit more with my hair. I'm unbelievably lazy with my hair, man. I actually just wear a cap because I'm lazy to actually gel my hair. Right? So for me, it's just like, put a cap on. Ah, done. Hairstyle, done. Having a great hair day. Let's go. I see you buy. But be patient with those who supply it. Advice is a form of nostalgia. Dispensing it is a way of fishing the past from the disposal, wiping it Amazing. off. Painting over the ugly parts and recycling it for more than it's worth. But trust Could've said it better. Could have said that sunscreen. better. I love that. Lady that he actually ends off that song. But trust me on the sunscreen. Because sun that, that whole sunscreen thing, that is like scientific. I know for a fact that that works. All of my advice over here, it's not based on science. And maybe it will work for you, maybe it won't work for you. But the likelihood is that that is more scientific than the actual sunscreen. Right? Because it's life experience. Life experience. And the saddest thing that actually happens is life is that youth is given to the young. I always say that. It's one of the most saddest things that happen, but that is life. And that is what makes life beautiful is because if you just had the wisdom that you had when you that you have when you're older when you're younger that would just make life so much better wouldn't it but would it though because if there's if there's nothing to learn and you're the best version of yourself at such a young age then where's the meaning in life the meaning in life comes from not having that wisdom when you're young it comes from learning and going through those pains and those strifes and those uh, going through the motions of life to eventually get to a point where shit like i'm old now and i wish i knew this when i was younger because i would have enjoyed my life better but you don't know that you don't know that a lot of the things that happen in your life even the hardships that happen in your life is what makes your life so beautiful anyway absolutely love this frank this was such a great request thank you so much for this i apologize i spoke uh, a lot in this one but this one always just gets me Things like this always get me going. Anyway, I love you all, man. Please stay safe, be healthy. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.